So here's the thing. I normally don't reveal this stuff early, but my next video is gonna be on the anime Digimon Adventure 02. Only problem is, that's gonna be a big video. By the time you're watching this, I'm hopefully dead, I mean done with my second watch through of this 50 episode series. Thank god I don't hit myself enough to do a Dragon Ball video. Anyways, my point is, I may not be able to get this video out by July. So in order to tide you guys over and maybe even drum up a little hype, I figured I might as well make a little addendum video about this weird bootleg DVD I got for the series. So first, a quick peek behind the scenes. Whenever I talk about a movie or TV show, I go out of my way to watch it through streaming services if possible, and Adventure 02 is on Hulu. From there, I just had to find a way to somehow get the series onto my computer. You can't just screen record Hulu as it turns the screen black whenever you try and do something like that. The only problem is, every direct rip of the series I found on the internet has absolutely horrible audio and video quality. We've sure grown up a lot since that summer in the digital world! So, not wanting to torture my audience... yet, I decided to go out of my way to buy a DVD set for the show to hopefully have higher quality video and audio than what the pirate sites were putting out. While I waited, I started watching the series, but finally, only four days after I placed my order, I finally got my DVD set for a Digimon Adventure 02! Huh. Alright, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. This thing's a bootleg. Wow, this project gave me my first stress-induced mental breakdown and my first bootleg DVD? What a steal! <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I've had plenty of stress-induced mental breakdowns. I went through the American education system, bitch. Anyways, back to the DVD. You may ask how I know it's a bootleg. Well, I mean, just look at it. Officer, I thought it was official when I ordered it, I swear. Only are there no actual company logos on this, outside of V-Stars Enterprise, which... Hmm... But the description on the back basically just proves to me that this was made by a few guys who had a translation CD-ROM, as it uses phrases exclusive to a Japanese dub. Destined Child instead of Digidestined, and Digimon Kaisar instead of Digimon Emperor. Popping this bad boy open, we get to see stolen fan art on the inside of the sleeve. Very good. Then, as I'm sure you've noticed, we see the world-famous animation logo. Which, as we all know, is legally required to be on the cover of every piece of animated media. Back to the cover for a second, I love the shit they pulled on this logo. Instead of just using the Japanese logo for Adventure 02, or just using the English logo for Digimon, as over here it was considered the same show, just a different season, they tried to jerry-rig their own logo. They used the English Digimon logo as a start, somehow misplaced the text, added Adventure in the top rung of the loop there, Volume 1 through 50 end on the bottom, which... I, I guess they meant Episodes 1 through 50, as this is a 50-episode series? Then just slapped a blue circle with O2 on it in the corner right above Cody's head. Fucking amazing. And also, apparently the Chinese text there just says Digimon Adventure. Oh, and in case you were worried about that price tag, don't worry. I didn't pay 40 bucks for this. It was less than half of that. One last thing. I somehow found a packing peanut inside the actual DVD case, wished in with the DVDs somehow. I don't know how that's even possible though, because it was inside the case, which was shrink-wrapped, which was inside of the box, which was also shrink-wrapped. That right there basically crushed any and all doubts that I had left that this was not a bootleg. But finally, the moment of truth came. I performed the closest thing to unprotected sex that I'd ever be lucky enough to experience and popped this DVD straight into my computer. I opened up the DVD software, played the disc, and... Yep, that sure is Digimon, alright. Silent menu, low-quality stock assets, and hey, I wonder why the Chinese dub is on here. I tested this bad boy out by saying it to English and hopping into the first episode, and, thankfully, they started speaking English. We've sure grown up a lot since that summer in the digital world. I was relieved at this point because I was seriously starting to worry that I got scammed and that there wasn't an English dub on this. I guess it wouldn't have been so bad since I do need to watch it in English and Japanese anyways, but now I have a okay quality version in English. As I said previously, I started my first watch for the series while I was still waiting for this to arrive, so I hopped on to the next episode I had to watch and... Damn it, I know I should have paid attention in Spanish class. I'm gonna be honest with you, I just kind of assumed at this point that I've been had. I figured they only actually put the English dub in the first episode to trick people, and the rest of the series was undubbed. A bit strange, but I could see it happening. In my frustration, I just kind of clicked around when suddenly... Smell that salt there! 
Wait. That's English. Why are they speaking English now all of a sudden? Yes, as I quickly came to realize, the entire series is dubbed. But the intro, credits, and even the segments which lead in and out of commercials are the Japanese version. The puzzle continued to go on as I realized that, randomly, the show would just occasionally cut to the Japanese version of the episode for a few seconds. He's perfect! <laughs> it took me a bit to figure out, but eventually I was able to put together that these were scenes that were cut out of the English dub for one reason or another. <laughs> This was actually incredibly helpful as, well, I'm already going to be discussing the changes made to the show and it was localized, so getting to see which scenes were cut out of the English dub while watching the English dub? Not gonna lie, it made the job a little easier. Really, the only thing left to ask is... Why? Why would these bootleggers go out of the way to do this? Well, I do have a theory. It's really stupid, but it's the only explanation I can really think of that's at least kind of realistic. See, these bootleggers didn't have the English versions of the show, they just had the English dub. So they only had the dialogue. Heck, it's possible that they just record the audio right from Hulu and then synced it up with the visuals, since Hulu still plays audio if you try and record it. So my best guess is that they just record the audio off Hulu, took it to Windows Movie Maker or something, dropped the audio in, and just left in the parts that were Japanese only. Have you accepted Jesus as your personal savior? No, I'm Jewish! That's really the only reasonable solution I can come up with. But yeah, that's basically the whole story. I know that this is a much shorter video than usual, but like I said, I just want something quick that I knew I could have out by July. Well, here's hoping I can get the proper video out in time. I'm Sir Strongman, and that was the thing. By the way, I hope that you're not worried about all that mental stuff. Those were just jokes. I'm fine. Remembering projects this big. You should take breaks. They're good. <laughs>